My name's Angelo and welcome to We Want Picks. Every week we bring you all sorts of insight and many different ways to make money and have fun watching fights. And this is another one of those ways. This is prize picks. It's daily fantasy and it's really fun and really flexible. I'm going to walk through some of my favorite prize picks entries and see if I can go ahead and make some money here. If you want to check it out, go to wewantpicks.com slash prize picks. Use promo code WWP and they will instantly match your deposit up to $100. So what do I say? Go there, deposit 50 bucks, 20 bucks, 100 bucks, let them match it, and then use the free match money. Use that money, make some entries, play some games, and go from there. We want picks.com slash prize picks. So when you come in here, obviously select MMA because that's what we do. Uh, and then we can look at these fights a few different ways. We have lines set for fight time, how many minutes a fight will go, how many significant strikes will be landed, how many takedowns fighters will get, and then fantasy score. And we just grab what we like and we build a slate. So let's go ahead. As far as fight time is concerned, we have Anthony Hernandez at seven minutes. That's less than one and a half rounds. Ian Gary, 10 minutes. Shemaev, seven and a half. 20 minutes for Piotr Jan in a 25-minute fight. 10 for Rosenstruck, 9 for Malat. I don't like the fight time here. I don't like any of these. Basically, what I like to do when I look at fight time is what you know what has time that says it's going to go the distance and then it probably won't, or what looks like it's going to end in the first round and probably won't. All of these get out of the first round. Most of these are well into the second. Piotr Jan, if you think it goes to a decision, then do the more. Let's leave this alone. Significant strikes, similar story. What looks absurd, right? Who has... Uh, Mackenzie Dern, 45 strikes, less than that. 45 significant strikes. I think she's completely outgunned in this matchup. Volskanovsky's number is pretty high, but I think he gets there. Vince Pichel, that's fine. Let's leave this here. We're going to take Mackenzie Dern. We're going to do the over on strikes. And takedowns is honestly one of my favorite ones. We're going to take Mackenzie Dern... And she is going to have fewer than one takedown. She's not going to get multiple takedowns against Tisha Torres. It's just not going to happen. Piotr Jan had three or seven takedowns in their first fight. Seven. They have the line set at three. We're going to go more than three. Mark Madsen, this is an interesting one because he's an Olympic wrestler, but he didn't wrestle in his last fight. But he's fighting a guy who gets taken down very, very easily more than three takedowns? Probably. Darian Weeks, will he get two takedowns versus Ian Gary? I think he does. We're gonna build, we're gonna build quite the slate here. Shamayev, two takedowns with Gilbert Burns. Oh boy. All right, we've got five picks here. So let's go ahead and build this entry. You know what I'm gonna do? Let's eliminate, let's eliminate Mackenzie Dern strikes. We're just gonna do a takedown one, and we're gonna do Shamayev. And now what you'll see that we can do here. So Mackenzie Dern, one takedown. I'm going to say less. I don't think she gets a takedown. Tisha Torres is too good, too mobile, and understands she doesn't want to be on the ground. So I'm going to say less than one takedown for Mackenzie Dern. If she gets one, it's a push. Piotr Jan, we're going to say more. I mentioned he got seven takedowns in that last fight. Seven. Same exact fight, same exact opponent. I think he'll get over three. Mark Madsen, let's say he's going to get over three. He has taken down when he fought... Austin Hubbard, he took him down eight times in that fight. So he's fighting a guy who gets taken down very often. Let's say more than three. Darian Weeks, he does have a tough matchup. He's fighting Ian Gary, who is a prospect, has very good hands. But Darian Weeks is a good wrestler, and he knows he needs to wrestle. So we're going to say more as well. And this is at one and a half, so he just needs two takedowns. And Shemaev, two takedowns here. The reality is this one's actually tricky because he could take Gilbert Burns down one time and submit him, knock him out, and be done with it. He doesn't necessarily, might not even get the opportunity for a second takedown, let alone a third. So actually, let's re remove Shemaev. So this is going to do five times. We're going to do 10 bucks to win 50. And that's the flex play. If all four of these hit, $10 wins us 50 bucks. If three of them hit, we still one and a half times our money. But I'm almost positive that this is going to hit. I really love all of these lines here. So let's just do it. $10 to win $100. We will 10 times our money here. And I'm going to go ahead 
and lock that in. I like that quite a bit. Now what I can do is grab some of these other ones that I'm less confident about, and that's where we will do the flex play. So we're going to do Marcin Tybora. I'm going to say over on him. We'll do Shemaev. We're going to go over on him as well. Volkanovsky, let's do over on him. And we're going to do a flex play, and we're going to do $20 on it because the reality is it's a flex play. We have a little bit of a cushion built in there. Three correct give me 2.25 times my money. 20 is going to win me $45. If I only get two correct, let's say Shemayev only needs that one takedown, I'm still 1.25 times money, so 25% net profit, and I got one of these wrong. So I'm going to lock that in. And those are my two entries that I'm most comfortable with. Fantasy score, let's look at that very quickly. What fantasy score is, uh, essentially, you know, you're getting points for takedowns. You're getting points for submissions, victories, strikes, things like that. And this is saying, what is the total score of these fighters going to be? And will you do more or less? If I do a fantasy score, I like to jump in here. Here we go. Mike Malott, no way he gets the 95 and a half points because I actually think he loses his fight. And you're not going to get to 95 and a half with a loss. Uh, Vince Pichel, 79 points. I think he loses as well. But let's take a look. Kazmat, Shemaev, he'll probably get to 113. Pyotr, they'll probably get there. Jared Vandera, he might get past 73 because I think he wins and he could potentially win by stoppage. I think Vince Pichel loses as well. Charzino Rosenstruck, I think he loses, but he does hit and so freaking hard he could potentially win by knockout. So I definitely like Mike Malott's under. Who else do I like here? Ian Gary, 100 points. Again, I think Ian Gary loses this fight, but he's such a good striker that he can make something happen. Fluffy Hernandez, 90 points, potentially. Yeah, these are all solid, actually. Although I think, man, these are all solid. Let's go ahead, see if there's some strike we want to add. You need at least two. Rodriguez, 52. Arce, Vandera, 34. We're doing more. Vandera's high volume heavyweight striker, 34. These are now significant strikes, not regular strikes. But he's a pretty busy guy, and he should be able to get past that. And that's honestly the lowest line here. Anthony Hernandez at 30. Yeah. Let's go ahead. We're going to do the under and the over. The under on fantasy points for Mike Malott and the over on strikes for Jared Vandera. We're going to power play it. And I'm just going to throw five bucks at this. Five to win 15. Let's lock that in. You guys get the idea. Follow along or let me know what your favorite prize picks entries are. There's just so much flexibility and you can literally build whatever you want to build and build yourself the most favorable entry possible and risk as much or as little money as you want to. Check it out now. We want picks.com slash prize picks. Promo code WWP. They will instantly match your deposit, essentially making this risk-free. Check it out. Let me know your favorite entries below.